Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to assemble the GT Player LR002 gaming chair. So I have the gray model here, you might have a different color, red, blue, or whatever. So first things first, when you assemble something, you got to make sure you have all the parts. So first you need the back, which I have right over here. Secondly, you're going to need a seat, which is probably the most important part which I have here. And you notice I have the instruction manual right here, which is very important so you know what you're doing, or you can just watch this video, because I'm going to show you how to do it all, hopefully. Um, so next up after that, you're gonna need the mechanism where you can move the chair up and down. Another important part of this, basically everything's important, honestly. But so you're gonna need one of these, and um, and you're gonna need the footrest, which is under D, which I have over here, just other stuff on top of it. Next, you're gonna need the headrest. Um, this is something like, you know, that's kind of like based on preference. You don't necessarily need it, but we're gonna use it anyway. Um, there's also like the lumbar pill you can place, uh, use. So that's also, you know, like every gaming chair has that. And next you're gonna need the casters, which is under, um, which is under uh, F. So uh, these are also important. So if you wanna wheel your chair around, you're gonna need the legs here, and then you're gonna need the base. Now, I know some people who got this chair or got another chair from GT Player and didn't receive the base, but thanks to GT Player's great customer service, they were able to send one as soon as possible. So um, if you don't have a piece by any chance, go contact us at gtplayer.com. And the other parts, you're gonna need the armrests, which I have over here, left and right, hopefully you have, um, the gas lift. And obviously you're gonna need all the tools to make this happen. Um, one thing about these tools before diving into this, there's a lot of numbers and letters involved, like M625 pieces. Um, we're going to go by each letter, like Y, Q, S, O, whatever. So when I reference anything, it's going to be going by letters rather than the M6, whatever, 5, whatever. So we're not going to go do that. It's too much, too much words there. Let's get started with step one. So the first part of the chair installation is putting these legs on this base. So to keep in mind, you're going to want to match up the screw holes that you see on this one right over there on top and onto this one. And you're going to need to use screw T um, as part of, from your assembly kit of all the screws. And you're going to want to place it right in here. You might have to like bang this on the floor, um, which I am going to do. So um, once you complete putting the base together, it should look something like a starfish. And um, it so... When I mentioned to line up the screw holes, you're gonna use screw number, uh, screw letter T to put in each spot, and then you're gonna to wanna to screw it in. So we're gonna place them all in here. You're going to use your Allen key to tighten it up. And this is very important because if you don't do this, you'll notice when you're sitting down, the legs will come off. All right, once you tighten the last one up, that will make your base complete. All right, for the second part, you're gonna to wanna to put each caster on each of the legs, the five legs, and then after that, put the gas lift on the chair. You're gonna wanna hear that snap to know it's in place. And then you're gonna flip it over to put in the gas install or the gas lift, whatever you wanna call it. Um, you should place it right here and it'll stay in place. And there you have the first two parts of the chair assembly. So once you have the gas lift and the other parts of the base done, You'll have this thing right here that looks like a bunch of cups that are on like every single chair in the existence that you can place on. The guide itself doesn't really tell you where 
where, where and when, when to put it on. Not where, because you know where, gonna, where it's gonna go. So honestly, I would put it right here. I'll put it on already because honest, like, I don't know. I don't even know if this is gonna work well, but we'll find out. For step number three, you're gonna wanna take the seat, the mechanism that will go on the seat, and then the foot rest rails. And then you're gonna need um, these circles, these little circles, like these little things that you always see in uh, assemblies. Um, you're gonna need those, which is labeled as V. You're gonna need O, which are these small little guys. And then you're going to need W, which are a little bit longer. But we're gonna go, we're gonna go set this up with W right here. I don't even know if you can see that, but. All right, so the mechanism should face this way. You want this part sticking out because it's very important when you start putting the back on. And then you'll see it says front over here all the way in the back. And then on the mechanism it says front too. You want those facing the same way so you know it's facing the right direction. It's very important that you do that. You're gonna wanna take the o, o and V and put them in each of those four, these four spots. There's one, there's two spots in here that you can't see on the video and the mechanism, but make sure those are lined up. If you have the top parts lined up like I do here, you'll be perfect. Um, just mit, don't tighten them all the way like the instructions say, because that's very, that's actually really important. I have made mistakes in the past not, you know, not doing that, but make sure to do that. Then you're going to take your Allen key and screw in these screws, but don't do it all the way, like I said. All right, once you have these screws in place for the mechanism onto the seat, you're gonna wanna put the footrest rails on this. Now, this is completely, this is completely optional. If you don't want the footrest, you can not even set this up. But if you want the full thing, we're gonna put them on over back here. All right, so so we are going to do the footrest in this assembly. So, you know, on both sides, we're going to focus on this side. You can do both sides at the same time. But we are going to put the W screws in to both sides. Now, they can be kind of annoying to line up. As you can see. But if you like the way they are lined up, you can honestly start tightening, tightening everything. All right, the next step, you're gonna to wanna to put the seat on the lift, and all you have to do is place the gas lift into the insert, that's the mechanism, that's on the mechanism, and then you have your chair. Well, you have your seat, you just need the back on. 
So for this next part, you're gonna need the back and then this back support, which is gonna have to face a, a certain way. So you'll see the arrow. This part goes on the back of the chair and you're gonna wanna line up the holes and then you're gonna wanna use Z and V. Z as the screw and these little like, I don't know, nuts or something you call them. Uh, so we're gonna put them in the back of the chair. All right, and then once you tighten them all up, it's on to the next step, and that's connecting the back onto the seat. All right, so once you have the back on the seat, um, you're gonna wanna flap this down, so you don't, cause you don't want anyone seeing the behind the scenes work of this chair, so you're gonna hide it right there. So this, is, this next part is probably the hardest and frustrating part of this chair build, and that's connecting the back to the seat with this stuff down here. So you're gonna wanna use the screw P, the M820s, and the V, those circle things, and you're gonna wanna put four of them in the back. Um, for this, you might want someone to help you hold the chair into position to put the screws in because it can be very frustrating. This part, like I said, is really frustrating. I'm um, trying to line up the holes with the screws for some reason, because you have to like hold everything in the right position. It's not the most perfect way to set up the back of the seat, but it works. Um, this, the, for me, this was the longest part in my build of have, having to do it, but eventually you'll get it. So for the armrest, you're gonna use Q, the Q screw, and you can use the larger rings that you have to put on the other side of the armrest. So you're gonna put the screws through here, oops, there, and it should connect in there. Then you're gonna have to screw it in, of course. And then this side. Lastly, to cover up the holes, they give you these little caps to put on the armrest so you can cover all the ugly stuff. For the footrest, you could just slide it into those holders you built before. You'll notice this little silver screw you got with the um, assembly kit. You're going to want to put this on the footrest area. There's like a little hole on one of the sides. You put it in there so when you use the footrest, it doesn't pull out. So it stays in place. Overall, I think the GT Player Footrest Series LR002 is a perfect chair to get for its price. Currently listed as $84.99, it's kind of a steal because you can see $100 chairs at your local Costco's or Staples or generic chairs that don't come with the comfortability that this one does, and it comes with style, so your gaming setup will have some style for just a cheap price because the gaming chairs can be very expensive. And if you're looking to give someone a gift and if it's a gaming chair, this might be a perfect option for you. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope this helped you guys out. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.